Hello, I'm Rob Boss, graphic designer for the Rocket City Trash Pandas, and today I'd like to take you along as I paint one of my favorite pictures. So here we have a beautiful photo of a classic baseball sky. I'm going to do my best to recreate this using nothing but the paintbrush, as a good artist always uses. And we're going to start by grabbing the color of this beautiful purple sky and just lightly bringing it down to covering the top part of the canvas. Now, a baseball sky is famous because it has multiple colors. And in this case, this bright, vibrant orange will do. So we're going to come down and also just hit it with a little bit of that beautiful sunburnt orange. Now we're going to just top it off with a little bit more of the purple. Give it some of that, give some more realistic feel to it. I think that's pretty good, don't you? Let's paint the grass. Now baseball wouldn't be anything without its beautiful green grass. So I'm just lightly going to paint the grass on here. It's okay that the grass blends into the sky. We'll fix that later. So here we come. The grass is green. And now we're going to add a little bit of striping to the grass as well because, you know, baseball fields love their beautiful mowing patterns. So I'm just going to take some light, light brushes and make a nice diagonal pattern as I try my best to recreate the pattern on the diamond. Now a baseball game wouldn't be very fun without any fans, so we need to add some seats for them. So I'm just going to use a classic black hex color, 000000. And I'm going to increase the hardness of the brush and bring the size down just a little bit. Not too much, not too little, just right. And I'm going to just paint a little stand area, trying my best to replicate what the image is showing me. And then we're going to bring it around in a bowl fashion. That's perfect. That's, that's beautiful. That's going to be just right. Now with the grass, there must be dirt. And so we're going to pick a nice warm brown color for the dirt. And we're going to bring the size down on the, on the brush. And we're going to just give a nice fail swoop to replicate the infield dirt. Now one of the most important positions in baseball is the pitcher, and the pitcher wouldn't be very good if he didn't have a mound to play on. So I'm just going to create a little semicircle here that will act as the mound. I'm going to make this a little bit better of a diamond shape. Just make sure that there's enough space between second and the pitcher's mound. Now without the bases, it would just be called ball. So we need to add some bases now. I'm gonna collect a classic white, hex code FFFFFF. And we're going to just bring it down and just add a couple of little dots. Just a little, ab some abstract almost bases. Then we're going to take our paintbrush tool, excuse me, my paint bucket tool and just fill those in. And once again, we can't forget about the pitcher. So we're going to just add a little mound right there. That strip seems perfect to me. And now, just to create, to mimic these beautiful windows in Toyota Field, I'm just going to come and select the correct color and just draw two crisp, beautiful lines right along the canvas. Now, for an advanced technique, we're going to try our best to mimic the light post here. So again, I'm going to, uh, going to grab a classic black, bring it nice and down smooth there, create a little box, and fill it with a classic white paint. And then we're going to take our brush, bring the hardness all the way down to 
increase the size just a hair and just two very nice strokes and there you have it a beautiful pixel perfect recreation of one of our favorite photos here from Toyota Field. I'm Rob Boss. Thank you for joining me today. Take care of one another and go Trash Pandas.